Hey guys, it's uh, Dark Architect 18 back here with another YouTube video, and today we're going to be doing the Cleveland strategy video. Uh, so I got a buddy of mine; uh, he is in the Cleveland as well. Um, so we're on Northern Wires domination mode. Um, just want to say, um, do ship reviews, dev strike videos, update videos, and much, much more. So before I start, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to learn more. Okay, so we're going to break down the strengths and the cons, so the weaknesses for the uh, Cleveland. So the strengths, we have uh, excellent AP and HE, uh, excellent fire chance, and accuracy for close and mid-range is solid. For the cons for the Cleveland, we got 6-inch guns, high arc shell trajectory, so the shells are very floaty. Uh, and it's weaker armor because it's a lighter light cruiser so uh, those are the strengths and those are the weaknesses for the Cleveland um, so how to play the Cleveland first of all this is kind of a general rule with any ship is that you always watch where your team is going and you kind of guide uh, you're kind of guided to the weakest side um, Especially if you're like in the middle kind of how I was right there. I'm going to the weaker side or the most anticipated push is uh, The C cap So with that I'm trying to support my teammates and I'm trying to give them some backup so We got three people over here and we got two more coming over uh, also another note um one of my buddies in the game he's in the Cleveland um, one of my good buddies so you're gonna see him in action and how he does this game but um, that's just kind of a sidebar but anyways so with the Cleveland you really want to support your um, flank uh, you also want to make sure you look at the map at all times and kind of make a decision as to where to go uh, whenever you need to and always look at the map multiple times within you know multiple times within like 30 seconds um, or each gap of 30 seconds so like I'm looking around um, one keeping an eye on the map um, that's one thing that I always do is just keep an eye on the map while I'm moving up uh, and I also look around in front of me because I know where they are on the map but also too is I can kind of gauge where I am and understand do I need to push up do I not do I need to hold um, what do I need to do here I, I'm asking these things to myself like consistently and I'm also looking around to bring more awareness to what's going on for me so this allows me to gauge the level of uh, I guess my level of approach in terms of do I want to fully go in or do I want to kind of half commit or do I want to kind of like hide behind an island but like also support so in this case I'm, tr I'm trying to hide behind an island kind of but also give support I'm trying to just set this uh Flandre on fire and then the Iowa on fire I'm trying to cycle charge these fires so that uh, They're they're getting distributed more evenly between each ship because if the Iowa damage cons and the Flandre or the Flandre uh, does a uh, damage con as well then Both of them if I set them on fire again, I'm gonna get like two or three more fires and that's for just one ship you could get up to four fires if the uh, you know the captain on the enemy team is wrong uh, running the wrong build excuse me but so you could get anywhere up to four fires but typically you get three fires per ship so you get one in the middle one in the back and one in the front so that's where I'm aiming so I'm aiming the front aiming the middle aiming in the back and I'm trying to mix it up so that because I, I'm looking at their ship and I'm seeing, okay, they got a fire right here and right there, and I know where to target. And I'm also looking around, too, to just figure out 
who can I pick on, basically, um, what, being a cruiser? Also, you want to always play the cruiser role of supporting your teammates and support and contesting caps, which I'm doing that here on the sea cap. I was right there in the middle of the sea cap, basically, right by the island. So, he's getting crossfired. He doesn't know what to do. He is probably panicking at this moment. Um, I I would probably be as well because I'm I, I if I was that guy I'd be losing so much health so quickly I'm like help question mark team like what what what's going on so <laughs> um, you got to support your teammates on but you also in this you gotta my team is doing an excellent job of crossfire throwing off the enemies producing a lot of damage that's going to be a byproduct of um you know getting a lot of damage is a byproduct of doing your job correctly and effectively uh and if you know what you're doing with it so as a cruiser um you just really got to know how your engagements are so with this ship i i always like to play cruisers out in the water or kiting towards the, you know, retreating slash towards the back of the map or wherever I need to be to do my job. But I don't like to sit behind islands the whole game. Um, some people tell you to sit behind islands the whole game. I, I don't like passive gameplay. It's really boring. And where's the excitement in that? Like, really? It just, it just gets boring. It's like... It's like doing the same thing every day. Uh, it's going to get boring. <laughs> like, really boring. And you have the same results. You're, you're probably going to just say, Nah. No thanks. I, I, I want to spice it up. I want to do something different. This is how I'm spicing it up. I'm, I'm moving up, supporting my team. Using AP whenever I see a broadside cruiser. Using HE whenever I see something that's slightly angled or um, seems a little bit harder to penetrate. Especially with the Wichita... Wichita is heavy cruiser. So, in this case, I the, my teammates are pushing up. And they're pushing back this Wichita. And the Wichita is just, like, freaking out, probably. And he's like, I gotta back up. Uh, and I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> you're not backing up, sir. So, um, that's a negative. So we got three kills, 106,000 damage, an arsonist, and a close quarters. So close quarters on the Iowa. We got a kill on the uh, Shimakaze, and we also got a kill on the Wichita. Pretty great game. We're almost uh, halfway through it. We're up almost 200 points. We got just about two caps. Um, the enemy only has the D cap. Um, uh, a cap is being contested. Excuse me. Um, so, anyways, we got the uh, Montepellier, we got the Amagi, Montana, and the Belfast 43 left. So, with this in mind, we're going to just kind of throw them off balance by leading our target one, but also kind of switching our targets. You're going to see that after, I, after uh, this engagement. But... The thing is, you got to always kind of lead your target, and you always got to support your team. And supporting your team and playing a role effectively um, makes you more confident in what you're doing, but it also um, it yields more wins. So it, you're going to win more because you're playing smarter. Um, not always harder. You don't always want to play harder, but you want to play smarter. And... It, it just means you're thinking a little bit more with what you're trying to do and what your what's your goal. What are you trying to do? Are you just trying to get all damage? That's probably not the best way to do it. So how I like to do it is I always like to go for supporting my team and trying to make the most impact there and playing my role effectively. Um, cruisers are meant to like help out destroyers or help out battleships uh, whenever they need it 
mostly destroyers because they are the weaker ones, but and to also take on other cruisers. So you just got to do what you got to do. And this game is an, a perfect ex example of how I did that, and it really is kind of eye-opening at the same time. But it, it really shows you a lot as to what the Cleveland can do and what having some sh a little bit of strategy or a lot can really do. I always like to play strategic because it's more rewarding and it's it gives me something to work for instead of saying like okay I'm going for 200,000 damage okay great but like it's a number are you gonna win no well then what why did you tell me you have 200,000 damage like you might as well give up so I I always keep my hopes high and I always you know play play my role as best as I can so we got the Montana and we got the Amagi pushing out pretty aggressively right here um, my buddy uh, Big Faza he's trying to throw him off at some HE from the side um, and that other battleship as well is trying to do that which is a great job good job with the crossfires you if you have people that are tunnel visioned like these two battleships in front of me then they will not really recognize what's going on they're going to look at one target one or two targets and then they're going to forget everything else because they are so focused excuse me on the you know on my buddy the cleveland which is big faza so they just don't know what's going on they they don't care how much damage they're they're receiving they care about the like the damage they're trying to output but damage does not equate to wins so um we got what do we got a witherer we got a high caliber we got a close quarters and we got an arsonist we're almost at 140 150,000 damage approximately four kills we got a base cap or no two base caps uh incapacitation we got like 12 fires uh 200 something odd hits at least minimum and we're just rolling so um yeah hopefully this this game really kind of gives you an idea how to play the cleveland strategically and to always kind of gauge where you are on the map and help your teammates as best you can you know your teammate says i need support here or uh whatever it may be do your best to um do that and you know damage or anything else will come your way and it just it i i didn't even the thing is with this game i didn't even really like like i tried but um i didn't expect this outcome at all like it literally was a surprise to me i was like what like what the heck's going on <laughs> like this is this is oddly satisfying because one i'm playing my role correctly and our team's doing awesome but i got the damage too okay great it's a win-win win-win scenario so you can't go wrong with that um but the strategy is the one thing that i see with a lot of like world of warships legends players is that a lot of people just don't have that backbone of strategy and um, thinking how to play, you know, whatever ship they are uh, effectively. Uh, a lot of people just kind of play it to play it and have fun. And, um, you know, I think it would be cool if, you know, some people could incorporate strategy if, you know, if they're willing to. Um is the more people that are willing to incorporate strategy or, and make the game better, um, the better it will be. It takes a little bit of all of us to like do a little bit of something more. Um, and you don't have to be perfect, but you got to try. So that's the biggest thing. Um, make sure um, if you like the um, like the video um, and to also to subscribe to the channel. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. I'll be celebrating 500 subscribers pretty soon, so uh, make sure to stay tuned for that. And just wanted to say thanks to everyone. And, uh, yeah. So, 
just finished up the game, 180,000. Just wanted to say thanks to everyone for dropping by. I really appreciate everyone's support. And, uh, yeah, if you want me to do another strategy video for something else or um, a different type of video, just uh, comment down and uh, we can have a discussion about it. And uh, I can put it on my to-do list. And, uh, yeah, so appreciate everyone's time and uh, looking forward to uh, what we have next to do. Thanks. Peace.